Good morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, what we're going to do is is that we're going to uh, wire, put a electrical fence around our garden, and I want to show you how uh, we've had this here for a while. Uh, two or three weeks, we had our horses on this side, and then we were allowing our pastures to grow on this side. So what we'll do is, is that we will um, put this around our garden. Okay, we're going to continue with the uh, electrical wire, electrical fence. We're going to put that around our garden. We found some evidence where there um, were some uh, chewing on of our corn over there. So we're going to fence this in this morning and uh, try to protect our harvest a little bit more. So stay, stay tuned. There's a number of ways folks do it, but we're going to try to do it with electric fences. Hopefully it works. We just started putting our electrical fence up. One of the drawbacks of the electrical fence, if it's touched by vegetation, it will soften its effectiveness. So what we're doing now is making sure we have clearance that the vegetation does not touch the fence. Okay, we got some uh, mushrooms here. Uh, there's one right there. And they're in the area of straw and strawberry patch. Okay. Okay, we have our, we installed our electrical fence. It's pretty low. In some areas, not so low. Right here, we don't think it's low. If we make it low here, it will touch the ground. It will touch the ground there if we make it low here. So we're just going to hope that they uh, hit the fence at, uh, um, at a spot where they are uh, are, are, are shocked where right here it gets pretty high as well and we have a Gallagher electrical solar power electrical setup we've had it set up with our horses and sheep and it's worked really well one of the things you have to do is to one you have to first ground it two you get your green lead which we'll do here and connect it to your fence. I don't know, if, there you go. It's going I didn't even think it was gonna be long enough. So that will get us going there. I think this is two ohms. Yeah, it's a S22 series, Gallagher X22 series, but it is two ohms. Uh, this thing can send electrical wires up uh, as long or far as 10 miles. I think it's done quite well for us with keeping the animals uh, contained and at bay. So let's give it a shot for our uh, garden. And so uh, I'm going to turn it on. Once it turns it on, you'll see the blinking here and she's live. I don't know if you can see that blinking. So if you want to know whether or not it's live or not, once you go ahead and touch that and let me know. Go ahead and touch it. That wire right there, touch that baby and tell me if it's hot. Okay, well, we're gonna trust the system then. If you don't wanna touch it, we'll trust the system then. But we're ready to go. And one of the things we'll look at uh, to see whether or not it is effective, we will take a look at our corn. I think corn is the number one place so far that we're thinking that they've been in here. And the head right here has been eaten out on this one right here. So we'll see if that will continue. The head of this, top of that's been eaten out. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm not quite sure if we got anything over there on our collard greens. Uh, but uh, we'll see if it's going to work or not in the next uh, week, day or so. Stay tuned. 